Good day and welcome to today's construction class. My name is Uluwa Tumbi Blessing or Lanlekon, the founder of Michael Tech. Alright, so for today we'll be considering the problem as displayed on the screen, a tangency problem, alright? So the very first thing I'm actually going to do here is to produce a thin horizontal line in this manner as you can see on the screen. After that, I'm going to produce a perpendicular to that horizontal line with my set square like this okay from this point like this i have my perpendicular so after that looking at the bottom of this particular uh, drain so from this midpoint i'm having a mark of 22 towards the right and what on the left hand side so picking my compass all right i'm picking length of uh 22 which is this i'm going to stand at this midpoint right here and what produce this arc and what and this arc okay so the distance from this area to this area is now what is now 44 okay so taking note of that so from this midpoint right here and right here i'm having arc of radius what radius 10 so picking my compass and picking radius 10 with it so with radius 10 which is this with radius 10 standing at this midpoint i'm going to produce this arc Okay, let me just produce it faintly first of all, like that. And right here with radius 10, I produce this arc also faintly, faintly like that also. Okay, so after doing that, what is the next procedure? What is the next procedure? So the next uh, procedure is uh, to actually produce the arc joining this and this together. And that arc is radius, what, radius 25. And that arc is actually an external arc. Okay, principle for external arc is what is addition. So, which means 25 plus uh, radius 10 is what is 35. So, picking my compass right here, measuring radius 35, which is this standing at this junction with radius 35. I would, I strike this first arc with radius 35. I strike what this second arc. So, I'm having what this intersection there with radius 25. Coming back, I pick radius 25, which is the radius of the arc right there. Standing at this junction, I'm going to what? Uh, draw this arc. Okay, I'm going to make it bold. As you can see on the screen, make it bold. So that is the arc joining those two points. Okay. Alright, so we got that already. So take note also, take note from this same center, okay, towards the bottom, I'm having an arc of radius 20 at both ends. So I'm going to pick my compass right here, picking the mark of radius 20, all right, standing at the center. I'm going to produce this arc faintly, first of all, faintly right here, and also faintly right here, faintly. And looking at the uh, problem on the screen, these bottom arcs are what are tangential to each other. So I'm going to place my T-square and what and draw a tangent joining both bottom arc as you can see on the screen right there okay so after doing that after doing that from this midpoint here towards the top i'm having a mark of 45 so let me pick my compass okay i can actually use my ruler also but my compass with mark 45 standing at this midpoint right here okay so i would i mark this out so marking that out i'm going to project uh, a thin horizontal line on that area right there okay which is this as you can see so distance from here to this area here is what is mark of 45 millimeters so the next procedure is to actually pick my compass right and measure radius 25 measure radius 25 which is standing at this junction i'm going to produce an arc faintly first as you can see producing that faintly in that order like that so after doing that after doing that the radius of the arc joining this internal this area here to this mark here is radius 50 and that arc is also an external arc okay so from the bottom here 50 plus 10 50 plus 10 is what is 60 so picking my compass i measure radius 60 as you can see radius 60 standing right here i would I draw this arc faintly as you can see on the screen so 50 plus 25 that's what 75 so picking my compass i measure radius 75 which is this 
right i stand right here then i what i draw the corresponding act so this is my what my point of intersection right here so from that point of intersection picking my compass i measure radius what radius 50 which is this coming down there i what i join this arc i'm going to make it bold once and for all okay i join that arc making it bold so then i can actually come back here and okay i can do that later let's proceed let's proceed so the arc on the outside here joining this radius 10 and radius uh 25 here is radius 76 an arc of radius 76 and this arc is an internal arc and the principle for internal arc is what is subtraction is subtraction all right so to actually do that what am i going to do what am i going to do all right so if you are actually enjoying this video and you wish to actually support uh us to encourage us to actually do more you understand you can actually use the thanks button below the screen okay the thanks button thank you very much we really appreciate all right so to proceed the arc of radio 76 linking this area and this area here is an internal arc so 76 minus 10 76 minus 10 is what is 66 so with my compass i measure radius 66 which is this okay coming right here i what i draw this arc faintly as you can see all right so then radius 76 minus 25 that is what that is 51 51 so with my compass i measure radius 51 also with radius 51 i stand right here then i what i draw this so this is the point of intersection i'm having right there so at that point of intersection with radius 76 on my compass with radius 76 on my compass standing at this point of intersection okay i'm going to what actually uh join this to this i'm going to make it bold making it bold once and for all making it bold okay so having that over there then i can actually go ahead and tick in this which i drew earlier on okay, this arc here i can tick in it out now all right then i can actually tick in this radio stand which i draw at the bottom here earlier on also radius 10 which is this this so yeah taking that right there and right here all right so we are almost done we are almost done all right so uh we are told that the distance between uh this radius 25 towards the outside the, the offset distance there is what is 10 that implies that 25 plus 10 is what is 35 so with my compass i measure radius 35 mm with radius 35 mm sitting at this midpoint i what i draw this arc faintly first faintly as you can see on the screen faintly okay after doing that we are told that uh on this edge what we have here is what a tangent a tangent joining the two arc so i'm going to pick my ruler okay and draw a tangent from this arc right here at the bottom here to this right here tangential to each other like this as you can see on the screen okay so next towards this area towards this area so since the radius of this arc is 76 radius for this area we got 76 plus 10 that would be what 86 radius 86 so all i'm going to do is i'm going to actually pick my compass okay measure radius 86 with radius 86 at the same midpoint which i actually used to draw the 76 i will stand right there okay then what draw make it bold okay as you can see on the screen make it bold once and for all make it bold then i can actually take in uh this area once and for all like this okay yeah like that so then i have uh, the go ahead to actually take in that radius 20 at the bottom earlier on radius 20 which is this so from here i cannot take in this also like this and from here like this all right so we are almost done so once again you can actually support uh this uh platform by using the thanks button located under the video 
to support us and to encourage us. Thank you. All right, so uh, we are almost done. We are almost done. So we are told that from this midpoint towards the bottom, a line of 45 degree, 45 degree. So how do we actually come about that? I'm going to actually uh, slide my Z square and my T square in this order. Okay. So this all the way to this area here, I have I have this faintly. I draw this line faintly. That's what five degree line. Okay. Then all the way down here also I draw this for five degree line. So what else? What else? So we are told that the distance from uh where the circles circles of diameter five are sitting. Okay, it is sitting at point of five. So how do I do that? I'm going to pick my uh compass. Okay, picking my compass right here. I'm picking diameter five is going to be radius two point five. That's quite small. So if you have this uh circle template for uh diameter five, you can actually make use of that. If not, I actually have a compass that can do that right right here, which is this. Which is this. So but before that, I'm going to actually measure five. Five to get the midpoint. So from this area, I measure five. Okay. From this area also. Yeah, look, I measure what? With five. I strike that arc. So I have the centers right there. Okay. Uh what else? Okay, maybe somewhere. Okay, I'm going to do that later. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Along this line also, I'm having another five here, as you can see. Okay, then along the top here also, another five here. I'm having that right there. So I'm going to actually figure this out. Okay, let me figure it out once and for all. So from this midpoint here, I'm going to measure mark of 12 downward from the midpoint here, mark of 12 downward. Okay, mark of 12, which is this. I'm going to project that mark of 12 horizontally like this. Horizontally like this. All right, so distance from here to here is what is 12 as it as you can see on the screen. So then I'm going to pick from this area also mark of five and what I put it there. So I have my points right there. So then I'm going to pick radius 2.5 now. If you have the template, use the circle template to actually draw it out. If not, if you have a compass that can pick radius 2.5, just make use of that like my own right here. Okay. So 2.5. Yeah, 2.5, here we come. So with radius 2.5, placing it right here, I would, I have this right there, that's diameter 5, with radius 2.5 from here, I have diameter 5, that's 2, with radius 2.5 right here, I have diameter 5, that's 3, with radius 2.5 right here. Okay, I have diameter 5, that's 4. With radius 2.5 right here, I have diameter 5. Okay, that's 5. So, what else? What else? So, I'm having... Uh, okay, yeah. From this area here now, I'm having a mark of 20 downward, first of all. So I'm going to measure it from this center, okay. Mark of 20 downwards, which is this. I'm going to project that horizontally like this. So the distance from here to here is what is 20. Then from this center towards my right hand side, I'm having a mark of 32. Mark of 32. And that is going to be uh, this. So this is that mark. So at this junction, I'm having a circle of diameter 6. That would be radius 3. So radius 3. If you have a template, you can use a template. If not, you have a compass that can pick radius 3. All the best. So I have one here. With radius 3, I would I draw this circle. Okay, so left to do is this. So from the bottom, from the bottom on this vertical line. Yeah, right here. From this area, right here. I measure a map of 10 upwards, which is this. So here to here is what is 10. Then I'm having a circle of radius of diameter 10. That's going to be radius what? Radius 5. 
so with radius 5 of my compass standing right here i what i draw i draw all right so that is the uh production or the production of the agency problem as displayed on the screen kindly ensure you subscribe to this youtube channel and also refer to your friends who might be in need of it and you can actually support uh this platform by also using the thanks button provided at the bottom of the video once again my name is uluwatumbi blessing or lalikon the founder of michael tech thank you